So I wanted to bring this update to this uh, Moso bamboo grow I got going out of the basement. Um, it's been doing very well in this grow box that I have, uh, in this two gallon pot. And if you watch my other videos on how I started this, and explanation of the lights and nutrients, yeah, you can do that. Um, and there's two other videos before this one. Uh, so if you see here, look on this side, uh, all of that is from one seed, and this here is actually from another seed, uh, seedling. Um, so it's actually two things going on here, and this one here is obviously the dominant one in the pot because it's so big, choking this one out, uh, both for uh, nutrients and because it hasn't really had a chance to grow very tall, it's also being shaded by uh, the other leaves, so it's not getting a lot of light, so therefore it's growing it very, very slow. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. The reason I'm making this video here uh, is because, as you know, you know, this is not, this is not by any means an indoor plant. Uh, it's a giant, giant timber bamboo. It's not native to uh, America. Uh, it grows up to 90 feet uh, outside, and it takes a couple of years to do that before it actually gets to that height. Around here, with the with the weather and the climate, I don't think it would ever get that big, but. It's not an indoor plant, and the reason is because it's very fast growing. It's like a, it's a grass. It's fast growing and it's very nutrient hungry, and uh, it likes a lot of nitrogen. To supplement what I've uh, needed to give it, I've been giving it to start out. I've been giving it this Fox Farm Grow Big, which is 644. Six means nitrogen, which you know it isn't all that much, and I've been giving it pretty much the the recommended dosage and then I just recently started upping its dosage to a heavier dosage which is also the recommended thing on here. Um, I also recently started using this uh, which is just miracle Grow, and I don't remember the numbers on this but actually let me look on the back here. Okay so the total nitrogen was 24 on this as opposed to the 6 from the other uh, uh, fertilizer and it's 24, 8, 16 um, which is fine. But if you notice on this plant, I'm gonna have to show you a few leaves up here in the top. If you look in the back there on some of these leaves, you'll notice they look zebra striped or just striped. Uh, I believe that is a magnesium deficiency. Uh, it's got yellowing, yellowing between the veins of the leaves. But on bamboo, the veins are a lot different than leaves on other plants. So I'm, I mean, it could be an iron deficiency, but I'm actually leaning more towards magnesium deficiency. Um, so what I'm going to do to rectify that is give it a tablespoon of Epsom salt in a gallon of water the next time I water it. And then once I do that, I will uh, update this particular video that you're watching now and you'll see in just a second uh, how it actually affected the plant. And you actually can see right here even, that is a what I believe is a magnesium deficiency. I'm almost positive on that. So it's been about two days here since I've added the uh, tablespoon of Epsom salt to a gallon of water and then poured it through my um, soil. Uh, I have not seen, not really, at least not really noticed any difference in the leaves here with the stripes um, since they're appearing chloratic. Uh, so I mean, it's obviously got chlorosis, and you know that's the the yellowing between the veins of the leaves. Um, happens mostly on you know if it's magnesium, it happens on mostly the older leaves first. Um, if it's an iron deficiency, it happens on the newer leaves too. And that's I mean that's exactly what this is. And some of the other leaves were coming out pretty much pale yellow. Uh, and as you see at the top here, you know there's a bunch of leaves that look like that as well. And you can see a leaf back there that's you know appearing dark in color, dark spots. There's another one over there on uh, to the left, and that's a result of a magnesium deficiency, as far as I know. So, you know, I I decided to uh, try the mag or the Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate, and it's just magnesium, uh, sulfur, and oxygen. And what that does is it. Uh, It'll help correct the problem in, in part by uh, if there's too much potassium in the soil, which uh, that's a very likely thing since I'd be giving it liquid fertilizers every other watering. And probably it very well could be that there's too much potassium in there and it's locking out the magnesium. And it 
I don't think it's a soil, soil pH because I've been putting the dolomite lime or, or the garden lime in there and I've been testing the pH of the soil and it's been right where it should be at 6.5. Um, another part of the problem sometimes could be the soil could be too wet. Uh, that could cause a problem. I don't think that's the problem in this situation because I've been very careful about that. Um, some, I'm just thinking it might be just too much uh, potassium that I've been giving it, especially since this bamboo doesn't really need that much potassium. So it, it happened really quick. I mean, you know, this chlorosis, it, it all happened. I mean, it really started happening very fast because uh, this is, like I said, this is not an indoor plant and this is a, a high, has a high metabolism. Uh, it shows signs of things very quickly because it grows very quickly. So there's a lot of fluid moving up and down, you know, a lot more than a regular old house plant. So deficiencies and everything show up very quickly in plants that uh, grow quickly. So especially soft tissue plants, such as like cucumbers and vegetable plants or whatever. Um, so I tried the Epsom salt and then I was, obviously I noticed the, the leaves getting, you know, the new ones coming out yellow. So I'm like, okay, I got an iron deficiency then. So I got this stuff from the store here, chelated liquid iron. And there's other stuff in it also. It's got the iron, copper, magnesium, and zinc. And I decided, you know, I just going to follow the directions on here and I put a half teaspoon in a quart of water and uh, it went from like this is like a green liquid it's like a light green and I put as soon as I put in the water the water within about 30 seconds or so turned like a rust color it was really weird never used that stuff before um, so I didn't know what would what would happen but you know I put it in there I just like the Epsom salt uh, I gave it to the soil and uh, sprayed it on the leaves as well in this with a spray bottle to get it absorbed right where the problem is to get the chlorophyll and everything start getting produced quicker and uh, you know so I did both of those uh, so looking up here back at the leaf again you know the dark leaf uh, somebody said once before that like well maybe that's just what you know the plant's supposed to look like like well plants are supposed to look green and healthy and that doesn't look very healthy you know, I thought it was a fungus or a disease or something like that, which it could be. Um, I'm leaning more towards the because of the deficiency. But plants are a lot like people. You know, if, if you're deficient in something, sleep deprived or whatever, your immune system is weakened. And the plants are the same way. If they're deficient in something, they're, they're weakened and they're more susceptible to uh, diseases and pests and things like that. So the first thing you want to do is try to correct the problem that might be causing it and then the second thing you want to do is then try to treat the uh, disease if that's what it is. I don't think that's what it is. I think it's just from a deficiency and I think it's just dieback. Um, so yeah I mean you know that's the most of bamboo there and it's uh, it's hard to really say you know if it's anything's happening yet but I'm I'm looking at it and it's looking like it's actually greening up a little bit more than what I seen uh, two days ago. And it's looking healthy. And down here, I mean, I can see, you can see new growth coming up all over. Like, that's a new little thing coming out there from the one I trimmed off before. There's a brand new shoe. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff. And uh, yesterday I trimmed out about uh, 10 canes and branches out here to thin it out to get more light down to the bottom and uh, to so the plant doesn't try to you know pull so much energy from the soil and and uh, pull all these nutrients and everything that are in there and try to you know steal from the rest of it you know so it's good to thin it out every now and then to uh, keep it small so that more energy goes into what's already there rather than trying to grow new stuff and overall it should make it healthier uh, that's really about it so that's my update, and I will uh, update this video again when I see a difference after I uh, remedied the issue. Alright, it is about a week later now, after I give it the uh, the amends here with the magnesium and iron. I uh, did a little bit of foliar feeding with that solutions. Um, and I also did a... Uh, I waited till the soil dried out, and or dried out enough. I kind of hit the sides of the pot a little bit to kind of break it up a little bit um, so it's not so dense 
let it dry out like that, and then I flushed it through with water. Um, try to, to try to flush through any uh, built up salts or anything that could be preventing nutrient absorption on the roots. And I just recently did that. Um, so I don't expect any change to happen soon, but one of the leaves I was looking at here, uh, it still looks, you know, it's still a little bit chloratic and it's not quite as yellow as it was before. It's a little bit greener. Um, the veins are a little darker green and they're expanding and there's some spots on here actually where there is um, some deposit where you can actually see that the chlorophyll is uh, uh, actually being produced. And you know that's one leaf. I don't expect change to happen too much to the old leaves because that's probably not going to happen as quickly but some of these if you you know like on this side here starting to turn more green. Look at this leaf here. This is nice and dark green. Um, you know, and a lot of these leaves actually are, you know, looking in here, you can actually see that, you know, there's a lot of them here that are looking pretty good. And I, there's no way I could have looked at every single leaf here and remember what it looked like, but I don't remember there being quite as many uh, leaves that look quite this nice. So I think there's a little bit of change happening and there's a lot of new growth. I mean, I'm, I'm really getting filled up here in this box. And mainly though, what I'm looking at is the new leaves that are coming out, if I look at that leaf there, the not the newest one coming out, but the one that's already open, uh, that does not look bad at all. It is definitely uh, improved over what was coming out before. So I believe the iron deficiency is solved, or at least mostly uh, uh, taken care of. And then if I can get it kind of in the back here, look towards the back, that leaf back there, about half of that leaf is actually turning darker green. And I think that's kind of how it's going to happen. It's just going to take time for a lot of the older leaves to change. So, but mainly what I'm looking at is all these new leaves coming out here. All the little spikes coming out. Those are um, all looking better than what they were before coming out. So they're not, they're not as chloratic, not as yellow. So I think that, um, I think this is it. This is the last update that you're going to see. And the indoor grow of this and the next one you're going to see is me planting it outside because it's going to happen very soon the weather has changed um, and it's looking very good i'm just waiting for the shoots to come up out there outside because once the shoots come up i know that the soil has reached a appropriate temperature for this to be transplanted into it and i could do it sooner it probably would be okay i'm just being on the safe side so hope you enjoyed these little uh moso bamboo update videos and maybe learned a little something. So we'll see you in the next one.